I realize it's been a while since I gave a proper update on what's going on, not only with the Porsche, as you can see, it's completely gone, but on the Volvo station wagon, which is over here, you can see, for the most part, mostly stripped out. You know, we got some seat rails and stuff left in it. Uh, the biggest thing that happened, which you may have not been aware of, is we finally got the Porsche seats put into it. So I had to get a special, so this is the original Volvo rail. This is a piece of uh, sheet stock from Home Depot. It's like three eighths of an inch and it's used to hold in the seats and everything. So we're going to add some buttressing to this, you know, trying to square it in to make it a little bit stronger since this is kind of what my life depends on. The Volvo stock seatbelt setup is still retained, which is nice, so that all works. Um, still have the Volvo stock seatbelt. The uh, radio's been fixed, which is nice. The speedometer, tachometer, and everything is still fucked, uh, which is to be expected. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. We haven't done much else to this. We kind of took off the front. Sorry about the boxes. So, where the hell is the latch? Until it's been a while. There it is. So not much else is going on in the engine. Uh, kind of just tried to tidy up as much as possible. Get the air intake on and kind of fucked in there. Uh, we got battery. It's relatively new. It's been keeping a charge, which is good. Uh, plan is... I don't know, I'm not in love with the Swedish flag on the hood. I'm thinking about removing it, so we'll see. As you can see in the background, the wonderful pile of crap that's been removed from the car and from the Porsche still remains. So, we got the painted rear uh, spare wheel, which is nice. Uh, AC compressor out of this thing, that was fun. We got a hubcap that kind of flew off when I was cornering hard. Uh, most of the stuff has just been kind of put into place and just kind of left to its own devices. Um, the wonderful wiring for the rear uh, brake light. I finally got this brake light to kind of stay in place. It, this has been the bane of my existence through like high heat times. So underneath this is the rear brake light. And I know you see a bit of crap on it, but it's actually really easy to uh, see through. It shines bright. Um, I'm gonna leave the uh, roof rack on, pretty sure. I'm um, thinking about repainting it. I've already kind of hit it with some Krylon. I'm not sure if I love this shade of blue or not. I think I'm gonna keep going with it and see how it turns out. Um, you can see some of it, some of the car's already been a little bit sunblasted. So, um, yeah. I mean, not too great of a shape right now, but it is what it is. Oh, the sunroof, so this is another update. So, we got the sunroof. It was leaking before, it wouldn't quite stay in place. So what we did is, we got in, and we took the all the mechanisms out to, you know, reduce weight and add lightness. Um, we removed the mechanism and everything, so now it just kind of sits in here. So it's held in place with a couple of strings at highway speed. Uh, to some of the original mechanisms and then it locks in up front. So the whole thing pivots up Out and I'd show you it, but it's kind of hard to shoot with one hand So that's kind of it. We've been working at removing as much dash as possible You know this passenger seats gone a lot of wiring and stuff needs to be taken out a lot of tools and everything need to be taken out rear seats still in Or is still out. Uh, we're gonna take and leave the speakers in um, that speaker was blown, so that's gone. So we're gonna have one, the one behind the driver, and that one. The one behind the driver, you can kind of see how it's held in. There's a couple of screws. Um, easy enough to take out if I really want to save myself some weight during track days. Um, yeah, not too, it's not doing too bad. The seat's actually really comfortable. It's in a weird position, so I'm gonna take out that steering wheel and replace it with the Porsche one. I'm a little hesitant to do it because I don't really want to take out the airbag. Um, but I figure with the seating position I'm in, having the airbag is probably more of a liability than anything else. And I'm going to try and get that steering column moved up and out of the way a little bit. So we'll see how that works out. 
I'm really with the age of the car, I'm not sure if the airbag works much anymore. So we have the Porsche steering rack over here. Sorry about kind of crappy. So that's the Porsche steering rack. We still got the front brakes connected and the rear glass and a door for no good reason. Um, we're thinking about you know, taking that manual steering rack and putting it into Volvo just to see how well that turns out. So we'll see. Um, here's another update for you. So we went out, I was on the 24 Hours of Lemons forums. A uh, man known as the Crazy Russian It's nice enough to supply me for really cheap with a uh, Nissan VG33 motor. He also gave me, which is really awesome, he gave me, this is the original clutch plate. So this originally goes up here. That's for the Porsche and I got the clutch and everything. So he was kind enough to give me the bell housing for this. So we're gonna have to modify this somehow. I'll talk to the local machine shop to get it. Let me get a better view of that for you. To get it to fit on there so we can uh, get the uh, whole clutch assembly set up and work in for the VG motor. Um, I thought, oh, Jay came by, the guy's so great. Um, he was nice enough to give me oops, all this too. So this is all the engine wiring and harnesses and everything that's necessary to get this thing running. Down to the starter. So I got the spare wheel from the Porsche. Um, yeah, so this is, sorry about that, the camera decided to run out of space. So this is the trans. As you can see, it's got, you know, it kind of made it a little bit more visible. This is the little shifter itself. But if you follow it down here, we have the linkage. It's a transaxle because it's out of a Porsche. So, I'll put that in tools for a second. So, I got some very basic mounting points here. Uh, you know, this, that, I can mount it up. It's already on bushings. I'm going to have to replace the bushings though. So this axle is almost completely seized and there, I can't even turn it with one hand. I can do it with two hands. That axle spins freely. Yeah, my car is currently in neutral. I did check the gearbox. It does work. You know, oh, it's actually in first at the moment it looks like because it's turning the uh, shaft up front. So the axle does work. Well, at least this side does. I can't really tell on the other side yet. Um, we have the subframe connectors and everything. So these are how it kind of slotted into the Porsche. So it's like a little mounting point for it. You see here it's a little structural to the Porsche's chassis. So since I don't really foresee having a need the whole thing. My plan is, you know, we'll see when we get this underneath the Volvo how it works. Um, I would like to keep ideally the same steering or the same wheel geometry, but this is a little bit shorter wheelbase than the uh, Volvo. So I don't know if the plan is we're going to try and swap this whole assembly out with the Volvo rear setup. So this will be Volvo. And then it will come in here, and then I'm probably going to have to get custom half shafts, but we'll see. So this is going to be, in theory, a custom half shaft and going into the Porsche transmission. So we'll see how that works out. Um, this was a mounting point for the muffler. We just sheared that off. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So the biggest thing is going to be, I'm going to talk to the machine shop. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get... We might just go with a pneumatic one, a pneumatic clutch, just to make my life a little simpler. Because this mechanical linkage is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we'll make a custom adapter from here into the back of this thing. And then we're going to get a custom clutch, probably from something over there on the motor. So off the flywheel, because this is the original flywheel. And as you can see, it's a little bit different in size than the new one. Um, the spline count, though, is actually the exact same. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works out. 
Um, yeah, so we got that going. So we're we'll probably have to cut off the front wheel drive section of the axle because this is from 4x4. Then we got the alternator, we got all the computers, we got more or less everything we need to get that motor up and running inside the Volvo. So, I think it's not claw by wire, it's an actual throttle assembly. So, all this stuff works. It's kind of nice. You can get the kickback cable and everything hooked up. Um, I don't know if you're looking at pedal assembly, but it's not a huge deal because I have it for the other car. Uh, it's already in the Volvo. Let's see what other spare parts we have. Oh, we got the clutch assembly in here. So you can see it's really fairly simple. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or if I'm just going to go get a uh, pedal assembly from a manual Volvo of the same era. Uh, another interesting thing we have, we've got a bunch of spares over here, bumper bits, stuff like that. I'm not sure how I'm going to use them. We have a whole push of dash still in the box. Um, we got the gauge cluster mount. We got seat belts. Um, this is actually from yeah, this is from the Porsche. Um, it's kind of neat. You can see in there. Hold on. You can see in there. We got the little model number. Focus, you fuck. Hmm. Yeah, it's not focusing, but it says Porsche right there. So we have time focusing. We got the glove box. We got a couple of pop up headlights, which we might modify in the fog lights for the car. We got the center console. It came out in fairly decent shape. I know anything that was broken when I looked at it was that. So it's mostly in decent shape. Someone might be interested in that. We got the spare jack. We got the original wheel. So I want to put this into the car just because it's kind of cool. Um, we got tail light assemblies. We got a cluster assembly. Um, I don't know if that's to pump or just a filter. I think it's pumped because it's got the stuff on it. Let's see if it moves anything here in a bit. And a couple of you know, lights, some other spare bits. So oh, this is kind of the box that the uh, previous owner gave to me. This is just random junk with their, their tail light. So I actually, while I was off air, managed to get the two brake uh, drums off. And we were left with this. So I discovered, you know, I was hoping for, but it's not the case. This isn't an LSD, so, uh, but not an LSD. So it's going to be interesting to see. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take apart the whole transmission, and we're going to probably weld up a uh, welded diff in here. So we'll see how that works out. We might get it in the Volvo first, and then once it's in the Volvo, we'll work on it. You know, getting this thing modified. We don't want to break it before we can use it. So that's where we're at with that. Um, it is a five speed. I got the gear shifter around here somewhere. So it is a five speed. It's really nice. Um, got hit it with some paint, some Krylon to get it looking a little better. Well, yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm really happy with it. We'll see how this works out. So. Yeah, so we'll see how this all works out. Um, ideally, we're going to get all this in here, you know, all this crap we have, over the next couple of uh, months. Kind of the winter project doing. It all depends on really what happens with the machine shop, seeing how that can go in. Um, curious if anyone has any suggestions on how to tackle putting all this into the uh, Volvo back there. Um, yeah. That's kind of where I'm uh, at. Figured I'd give you all an update, tell you what's going on with it, and yeah, just let me know if you have any ideas for me. Other than that, um, you're going to see me kind of, you know, finger fuck my way through all this over the next couple months. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a fun project. All right. Have a good one. Have a good night. Have a good evening, wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. Be safe out there.